Hello my favorite people and welcome back. How have you been? I hope you're good. Today we're going to a MAC makeup counter. If you're new here, click subscribe. I've actually done a whole bunch of these and I've gone to makeup counters that not a lot of people have gone to, such as The Body Shop, Givenchy, Marc Jacobs, just to name a few. I also have Urban Decay, I have Charlotte Tilbury, I have Fenty. A few of these I kind of want to update and see how they do now because there's some new products. But today we are focusing on MAC makeup. MAC and Urban Decay were the two sort of like first high-end brands that I ever started buying things from. I'm not joking, I used to remember when MAC lips were around £12.50 and I would save up from working and put money aside just to go and buy myself a brand new MAC lipstick. I feel like this makeup counter was well overdue. It was definitely one of the ones that was requested a lot in the beginning, but don't worry, I'm giving you the goods today and we're gonna make our way to MAC. So let's go. the Mac store. I'm quickly vlogging outside because I don't want to vlog when I get in there just in case there's any like, background music and stuff like that. So I'm going to go in there now. I'm going to give you guys a tour of the actual store and then I'm going to introduce you to our makeup artist and then we're going to begin. So this is the before. Very tired. Very bare. <laughs> but don't worry. It's fine because we're going in here now. So I'm here with my lovely makeup artist PR who's going to be making my face look a whole lot better today. First things first, she got all the products that she thought she was going to be using, laid them out and sterilized them all before she even begun. So she was like super organized. Now she used MAC Fix Plus, but she used the more radiant one and she basically used it on a cotton pad and said she liked to use that to prep the skin. And then she went in with this moisturizer and oh my gosh, I'm not even going to lie to you. When she did this facial massage, it felt so good. <laughs> I was like, wow, I would come here just to get this facial massage because this feels so nice. So once she had prepped the skin, she went in with this primer, just mainly in the T-zone area and where I could get a little bit shiny. Then she grabbed the Studio Radiance, which is MAC face and body, popped it onto the back of her hand and then applied it to the skin and then blended it out using a duo fiber brush. She said she likes to warm up this product first and then she'll go in with the brush to buff it all into the skin. Then she used the Prep and Prime in the more brightening sort of like salmon color underneath the eyes and then she grabbed Mac's Pro Longwear Concealer which is kind of like a hero product for Mac it's a very well loved product and it's super super known and she just obviously applied that on you know any breakouts underneath the eyes then as you can see she started priming the eyelids now this primer I had never seen before and it had a really weird sort of like creamy velvet texture and she basically showed me like the difference that you get when you use a loose pigment on top of the primer compared to when you don't use the primer at all and yeah I was just quite intrigued by it because it didn't actually have any sort of pigment to it so once she had prepped the lid she then went in and started shaping out the line art that we wanted to do so she could perfect her shape then she grabbed a little bit of that loose green pigment and only applied it to the outer corner as you can see here and then went in with some mascara and as we was looking at it I just thought we need to just jazz it up a little bit so then I said I want something autumn and a little bit more intense so that's when she went over the line art to intensify it and then added this glitter from the corners of the green all the way through to the lid so you can see as I turn, you can see that green pigment in the corner and then it fades into the orange glitter. And here she is just going over that liner once again with the black just to intensify it even more. In the inner corner near the tear duct, she added a little bit of MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight and then she grabbed the Give Me Sun bronzer and did a super light dusting of that around the forehead and the cheeks. Then it was time to add a little bit of color to the cheeks and that's when she went ahead and grabbed this blusher. I'm gonna leave all the shades and the links of everything think as well in the description box down below so check that out if there's anything in this video that you've liked the look of now this liner she was using was spice and then she was using a little bit of honey love just in the center of the lips as well then from that she grabbed one of the mac mineralized skin finishes and just did an uber light a super super light dusting just on the areas that she felt needed it now just for some final touches she went in with some individual eyelashes and she probably put around three or four on each eye just on the outer corner and the end and this was the makeup straight after it had been finished this is how it looked at the end 
Hey guys, I'm outside the Carnaby Max store now. I'm gonna move a little bit long, so she's a little bit busy. Hold on. Okay, so just left Carnaby Max store. Just have my makeup done. This is it in natural lighting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And the skin looks quite natural as well. I don't know if you guys can see. Obviously, it's quite a grey day. I do actually have my lighting on. Let me turn that up. So yeah, it's quite um a grey day today. The lighting obviously won't show the vibrancy as much. But yeah, this is the eye makeup. I'm going to tell you all about that when we get indoors. But this is what it's looking like. Here is the skin close up. Had a few little breakouts today. I was like, that is so typical, especially when you're going to get your makeup done. But yeah, all done now, on our way home. These are the lips. And I'm gonna fill you in and tell you what else will when we get back home. Oh, day. Obviously, I'm back indoors now. You might hear a little bit of background noise. You might hear the boiler and the shower, kind of maybe in the background, because Sean is in the shower right now. And um, obviously, as soon as I get indoors from traveling back home, I get straight on camera because I want you to see how the makeup is looking. This is two hours later. And here we have the eyebrows, quite fluffy. Um, not too overlined, quite natural looking actually in a way. Um, I don't mind the brows at all. A bit of the mascara has transferred a little bit there from what I can see. Um, but yeah, those are the eyebrows and then these are the eyes. One thing I have to say of the eyes is the shape is really good because I don't actually have hooded eyes, right? So sometimes it can be a little bit harder with getting the wing to be seen and bringing it in at the right point. But if you go like that, you can still see it here. Then if you go like that, you can still see it coming in and then it just kind of like fades into the crease. These are done perfectly as well. Like they look pretty much identical. And if you've ever done this style of makeup on yourself, you will know how hard it can be sometimes to get those to be perfect. For the eyes, she just added some individual eyelashes there. Um, you let me know whether you think these eyelashes are perfect for it or whether they could have been a little bit thicker. You let me know. So I went on to Max Instagram, right? And I like this image. I might have to pop it on the screen. Oh, you guys can see it there. I liked the liner, like the brown liner. And then I quite like this, but once again, it was that sort of shape. So I really, really wanted something which was more of a graphic liner. Overall, I think she understood the assignment and she wasn't scared when I was on about amping it up, when I was on about intensifying it. And we're gonna move on to the skin. As you can see, the skin is really radiant. So she didn't wanna go too over the top with my skin because she was doing this graphic liner. She said that she really loves soft, light layers on the skin and she likes it to still look skin-like, which I can definitely get. If you saw me in person, it does look really, really natural. Um, it doesn't look too harsh. I just think maybe a tiny bit more powder and a clearing up of the bronzer just so it looks a bit more a bit more sculpted and sharper here if you know what i mean she did do a light dusting of powder just before i left um she, she doesn't like to use too much powder because sometimes it can look a bit too matte and um, dry down quite a lot so i want you to let me know whether you like the dewiness on the skin or do you think a little bit more powder is needed you let me know for the lips she used mac spice lip liner which is a pretty popular lip liner from mac and then she used honey love honey love actually used to be like one of my favorite lipsticks back in the day and one of my favorites now is peach stock because I it's quite light and I like it in the center of my lips and um, where honey love is like a nudie pinky kind of vibe I said to Pia with the lips I'm happy to do a nude or a, like a nudie brown so this is my makeup two hours on from MAC MAC have always had in-store services so it says book your in-store consultation a redeemable in-store one-to-one makeup service with your own MAC artist in-store that suits you it's also worth mentioning as well that the cost of the appointment is redeemable in products so depending on what you're going to get done whether you're going out or you want to learn about your eyebrows or you want to learn about contouring you book in that appointment let's say that's 30 pounds then you get that appointment but the 30 pounds you then use on products what i'll do as well is i'll leave a link in the down bar to that so if you do want to check that out that'll be in the down bar so you can go check that out i'll leave the link to all the products as well that were used on my face today and yeah we finally have done a mac makeup counter you know it's not something i would technically wear every single day but it was so much fun to try something different and see how they did at the counter you know so um yeah, overall, this is the finished result. Now, you need to let me know what you're thinking, okay? You need to give me the down low on this look, on everything. Were there any products during the process that stood out to you? It was like, oh, that looks pretty good. Let me know because I love interacting with you and I absolutely love hearing your thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.